this car hit a curb. Can we save the rim? Let's find out. This is pretty bad, but overnight, the tire still has plenty of air in it. I have my four and a half pound hammer here that I'm gonna use to try to bang it back. And if, unfortunately, it, it still leaks and the tire won't hold air, then I'll have to get a new rim. Here's the car, roughly two days later. The tire's still holding air good. And actually here, it looks like somebody might have hit a curb before. I see a slight bend, but that's not what I fixed. I fixed down here. Of course, when we brought the car back and parked it, the spot I fixed is down here, so you can't see it that well. I also repainted it because you want to keep the rim from rusting. I ended up taking the wheel off. I was trying to make the video to where you could do it without taking the wheel off. Make it a little easier, but the rim wasn't banged down enough. So what happened was when I filled up the tire, the way the rubber conformed to this area, there was a little, I guess you could say it's a little bubble in the tire it wasn't real bad but you could feel it when we were driving the car in the front so to make sure there wasn't anything else wrong with the parts in the front I took this tire and put in the back of the car so I rotated these two tires and also banged this down it's pretty much banged down even with the tire now it's back where it needs to go so I just laid it down flat and then hit it with the hammer right here to finish it off, bang it back in more. So it's going to be easiest to take the tire off the car. But if you're 
dent in the rim isn't as bad as this one was, then you might be able to bang it back in without having to take it off the car. I'll try to get in closer so you can see it better. it's going to be okay as far as when you put a new tire on the car I'm not sure if it'll be able to seal around that area it should but I'm just saying you don't know and of course you try this at your own risk if you come out at night and find that your car has a flat tire and you can't fix it what you need to do is you want to make sure you jack up that side of the car because you don't want to leave all the weight, especially if it's the front of the car where the engine is, having all that weight smashing the tire down overnight. That the tires aren't meant to do that. It'll damage the tire and ruin the tire. So if you can't get to it for some, whatever reason, a couple days or whatever, or just overnight, make sure you jack up the car slightly so it takes that weight off of the tire when it's flat. That's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell. If you have any suggestions for future videos, leave a comment.